What a week. It was an incredible week, oh. but I am so tired. I'm exhausted. I miss the days of just cruising around the city, meeting animals. I tell you, you know what I want to do? I do. You want to go on an adventure. Another animal adventure. And you know who we need for that? Nathan. Na is he here? Nathan! I have somebody sing your song. Nathan! Hey, hey guys. perfect timing. <sighs> oh. How are you? Great, if how are you? we go on another animal adventure, could you write a song about it if we tell you what we learned? That made me so happy last week. It's the funnest thing. I'd love to. Let's do it. And yes. I know what we're going to need. Watch this. Whoa! Ooh, that's okay. fun every time. You look awesome. Thing. Hey. You know where you should go. What are you thinking? The aquarium. Oh. That would be a great adventure. That'd be so fun. There's something really spooky there called an eel. A wolf no way. eel. Ooh. I, they're kind of scary to a me. A wolf but, eel. Yeah. We should go learn about a wolf eel. Oh, man. Let's do it. Hey, do that fun thing with your foot again. like you're on another adventure today. Hey, Moni, it's good to see you again. We are on another adventure. This time we're gonna go to the Seattle Aquarium. I heard you're learning about the wolf eels. Uh, we're hoping to see a wolf eel and a sea diver and all kinds of sea creatures. What do you know about wolf eels? Could you teach us something? Yeah. I have a perfect story for you. Sometimes the things we do not understand scare us. When things, places, people, and even animals are unfamiliar to us, it can be frightening. Even I get scared at the unknown. The feeling is normal, but we should never stop there. Have you ever heard of the saying, never judge a book by its cover? Has anyone thought something was true about you just because of the way that you look? Let's think about what that means. A wolf eel makes us think about snakes because they kind of look like one, but they're actually fish. They have fins behind their heads and function as many of the fish you know. Sometimes the world tells us what we should think about something based upon how it looks. But what about how it feels, how it moves, and in this case, how it breathes? What if when I get the feeling of excitement, I get a burst of energy just like an eel when they find something delicious to eat. What if it looks different than me, but we both have hearts? We are both curious and caring, but in our own ways. Our similarities keep us connected and our differences are what makes us special. We have the ability to ask questions and hopefully the space to explore. Have you ever come to a door and wondered what was on the other side? One day I asked my friend the same question, and they told me, unless you walk up to that door, turn the knob, and walk through, you'll never know the adventure and beauty that awaits you. Our minds are playgrounds for imagination. It's important for us to always ask questions to know the truth about everything we wish to explore. That was such a good story. Oh, it's so good to see you again. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks, Moni. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you guys have fun at the aquarium today. Woo! Wow! Whoa. Hey, Mark. Hey, Brian. Welcome to the Seattle hey, Aquarium. Hey, it's great to be here. We're so glad to have you. We're on an animal adventure. Yeah. We have a lot of those. We've got some great local animals that live right here in the Puget Sound. Could you teach us something? Most definitely, but we've got a mask up first as we head into the aquarium. Let's do it. Come on, we'll follow you. Harry, we found you. Yeah. Are you getting ready to go inside the exhibit? Yeah, I'm getting ready to go for my dive today. I'm going to be hopping in the water. Under the water? What are you putting on to do that? Well, this is my dry suit. It keeps me 100% completely dry from my head 
all the way down to my toes. Under the water, and you're going to be dry. Under the water, totally dry. And hopefully warm. Yes, that's what this is all about. So it's cool. kind of like fuzzy onesie pajamas you might wear to bed. <laughs> I love so, fuzzy onesie pajamas. Well, we should let you get ready. Yeah. Okay, come on. We can see her through the glass. Hi, Carrie. How's it going in there? Hi. So glad to see you both again. Welcome to our window on Washington Waters. This window is 12 and a half inches thick. Wow, that's incredible. Do all of these fish live in our ocean? They sure do. So many fish. Of all of them, do you have a favorite? I do. But the question is, where is he? <laughs> Oh, he stole his shrimp. My shrimp. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Oh, buddy. You're hungry. You're hungry. That's for sure. You're hungry when you're hungry. I feed people for a living, and it's it's not just fish. I'll tell you that. Carrie, we've always wanted to see a real wolf eel. Are there any in there? There are five wolf eels in here. And if you want to see a wolf eel, you can do this. This is our diver sign. If we want to see a wolf eel, like little teeth going, knock, knock, knock. So let me go see if I can find one on the other side of the exhibit. There it is! Oh, there they are, he's got a buddy. It's a wolf eel! No way. Kind of scary looking. Yeah, do you think you'll come out of that hole? Ooh, I'm sleepy. Is he gonna? I don't know. They came out. Kind of scary. No way. Harry, look out! Can he bite you? You know, my gloves do not take very good for them. They really are much more interested in things like the shrimp. At first, I thought they were shy and, and then scary, but. But they look playful. I would agree. I think that these mobiles are very kind and gentle animals, despite maybe looking a little grumpy sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I look a little grumpy. <laughs> yeah. You know, Mark, what's amazing about wolf eels is you have to get to know them a little bit, and then you learn they're so fun and friendly. Oh man, I feel like that's a lot of people. Until you get to know them, you just you don't know how friendly they can. Wait a minute. Is he, is he sitting on her head? <laughs> He's on your head and your shoulders. You got a wolf eel on your shoulder, Carrie. He's cuddling you. Hold on a second. He's cuddly. Goodbye, Carrie. Okay, we'll see you later. That was so fun. We got to meet a wolf eel. I can't believe it. High five. Oh, high five. <laughs> hey, thanks for having us. We love the aquarium. See you later, wolf eel. Whoa! Man. I feel like Welcome I back. Was there last time. The aquarium is so cool. We you can't met believe this, it. This woman named Carrie. She's a real diver. And she put on a scuba suit like and under she went cold water. Underwater. And she could talk to us with a special microphone. We saw fish, and, and this huge wolf feel, which looked scary, but it's actually super fun. It loves to cuddle. Who knew? You know what? This is what I need. You've inspired me. Wait. Do you have a song? I think I do. I, I want to hear it. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah. Did you know that there's a suit that can help you breathe underwater? It can help you talk to the fish, the crab and the coral. But I saw. Thing I'd ever seen.
thinking that way. He's a really nice guy. shake your hand but you can learn to love him if you try to understand new things can be scary new people can be too but you should try to see them the way you like them Yes! That's it's exactly so good. it! Perfect! <laughs> it's amazing you just wrote that on your ukulele. Man, thanks, Nathan. I think that might our entire animal adventure worth it. Look, let's do this again next week, shall we? Yes. Come on. And until then, happy adventures!